Hi, all chess goodies. In this video, we are gonna checkmate Noel with eight knights on a six twink. So yeah, let's let's play. We'll start with e3 because we cannot afford to lose a lot of pawns or the knights. All right, e5 and d5. So what are we gonna play against that? Maybe this. Is it too hyperactive? All right. Seemingly it's not. So we can grab this pawn. And now, yeah, we can just grab that knight with the bishop. Let's go for that trade. Now develop this knight. Wow. Should I go for this? This, this, and this. It looks good. And I think we should. Alright, so we just wanna pawn. Now maybe let's go back or just go back with the knight first to f4. Then maybe this check if it's gonna be useful or oh, we can just Grab the free knight here. That's even better. Now let's grab the H pawn. Then maybe grab the rook. So yeah, well, let's grab that rook. If it's free, why not? Now let's go to e5 or g5. To e5, it looks better. Attack, attacking that pawn. Now we can grab it with the queen or with the knight. Depends with which piece it's better. I would probably say with the queen and then go back and threaten fork. That's gonna be the way that we're gonna do it. And let's see. Alright, now it just gives up the queen. So yeah, but one thing that I haven't told you just yet is that we cannot just take all of Noel's pieces we need to keep at least one pawn to be able to deliver that checkmate it's not 100% necessary but without the pawn you cannot be 100% sure whether or not you'll be able to checkmate in that way because well Noel would have to help us in that case, so yeah, we will we'll probably keep the C pawn. We will keep the C pawn, and then we need to just just win the bishop. So let's do it somehow with the queen and the knight, for example, like this. Although although it might not be the best idea because then we we would lose the knight. So maybe let's just go for b3 here. Yeah, b3. Now we can win that bishop. We're gonna. All right, we have to go back fast or check him this way. Now it's not a stalemate, so we can blockade this pawn to make sure that. It's not gonna sacrifice itself and now a4 and we can we can promote into a knight and then we can do this then this and then this maybe is it the way to go although we can actually we actually can give up one pawn so yeah it's fine just go up and then probably check and give up this bishop because we would have to give up the bishop at some point anyway and now let's play b4 let's give up that pawn so maybe maybe this we need to give up the rocks now so yeah can be three now holds the pawn at the moment and now we need to give up the rock 
and then we will promote into into knights this way so we already have four knights on eighth rank so far but we'll bring them to fifth rank maybe although let's first give up the rock this way and then bring the knights to the fifth rank first So yeah, we have four knights on the fifth rank now. So we can start marching forward with the king side pawns. Now maybe, although, uh, let's first push push these pawns, and then let's give a check. Let's push this pawn. Now the king has to go one of these two squares so this would be still made I have to be careful let's go forward with the H pawn now it is fine and then we can get the queen to H7 so the king will have to run to the queen side go we'll slowly but surely get him into this position and now we can promote into the remaining four knights All right, we have them, and now well, let's bring them back to the fifth rank first. Then give up the queen. Now we can. I don't know how to how to give up the queen. Yeah, this is the way. We don't want to still mate no well. And now let's give this check. This was forced, and now we can start bringing all the knights to 6th rank so yeah let's start with this one and then this one then this one and then let's get the knight to e6 so we have the king's side set up and now let's do the same on the queen side this but now we have to, although we can give this check first, probably, and now you see the problem, because, well, this is checkmate, but we want to have all of the knights on the sixth rank, not just seven, but eight. So now if there would not be born, this would not really be possible. So now we have to just step out of the way with the king and then Bring this knight to a6 and then this knight to b6 to deliver this very nice 8 knight checkmate. So yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You can check out my other video here. And if you made it this far, I believe that it deserves like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.